So we have Jake LaMana is thought of as an all-time great in right. the Hall, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Gene Former doesn't get Gene quite former. former right. doesn't get quite the same amount of praise, and but he beat Sugar Ray Robinson twice, fought him to a draw. Oh, he didn't fight Sugar Ray in his prime, but he still beat him twice. Yes, fine, but he didn't fight him in his prime. Jake LaMana That's didn't it. fight him in his prime. Yes, either. he did. The, yes, the, he did. The one he won that was in Sugar Ray's prime. That was in Sugar Ray's prime. And do you think when that's he moved up to middleweight? He wasn't even 30 years old yet. Mm -hmm. he was, um, Sugar Ray Robinson wasn't even 30 years old yet. Do you think that's why he gets more praise than uh, Gene Former? Yeah, and look at the... Okay, fine. We know that Jake Lamato fought some questionable fighters and, and back then because of the... I mean, listen, boxing was my base back then. You know what I mean? Um, but Gene Former, he, like, he fought a couple of good guys himself, too. But a lot of these guys, you know... They built up the white guys a little bit better than they built up the black guys. The black guys really, really had to fight mm -hmm. to get their recognition. Whereas the white guys, they got built up against the older black guys that used to be former champs. I mean, you look, look like should look at Sugar Ray Robinson. Even though he knocked out Gene Fulmer with that hook stepping back, those next two times that Fulmer beat him, Sugar Ray Robinson, even when Sugar Ray Robinson beat him, he was not in his prime. Mm -hmm. He wasn't. Sugar Ray Robinson was there as a sacrificial lamb for Gene Fulmer. Cause they knew Sugar Ray Robinson was older. He had just gotten beaten by um, what's that? Was it Carmen Basilio? I forgot who it was that he just got beaten. Is either Basilio or a Turpin? No, Turpin. He beat in his prime. Turpin okay. beat him first, and he and, and he turned around and knocked Turpin out. But they were in their primes. Okay. They were definitely in their primes. But uh, Fulman never fought Sugar Ray Robinson in his prime. Sugar Ray Robinson just happened to catch Fulman stepping back with that hook. But Sugar Ray Robinson was. I mean, he still had enough skill to beat Fuma, but he was not in his prime. Fuma was just a bull at the whole time. He was actually beating Sugar Ray Robinson in that particular fight that he got knocked out in. If you watch that fight, he was, he was clearly beating Sugar Ray Robinson, roughing him up, fighting him dirty as he usually does. He's, he was a dirty fighter. Yeah, he gave uh, Billy the Kid Perret quite, quite a beating as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he was the fight that, uh, before the Emil Griffin fight. You mean the Benny Kid Perret? Yeah. Yeah. That's with Gene Fulmer. He fought him mm -hmm. before he fought... Yeah. Uh... yeah. But I, Gene Fulmer, you know, he he, had, he had, I mean, he said the, the hardest punch he ever took was that shot from uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. He said his whole body was like, it was like froze. He felt his whole body freeze, like completely numb. No matter if he tried to get up, he said he, he was completely numb. You can, he had no feeling in his body. Do you think he should be an all-time great? Gene Fulmer? Yes. Yeah and no because I don't. I'm just trying to figure out who did he beat in their prime of notoriety. You know, you had Sugar Ray Robinson beating. He fought Henry Armstrong. Beat Henry Armstrong in his in his prime. He fought. He beat Turpin. He beat a lot of Carmen Basilio. Even though Robinson was older than Basilio, he beat Basilio in his prime. Mm -hmm. He beat. He, <laughs> Sugar Ray Robinson was a bad man. That was, he was a bad man. That's how I learned how to double hook, watching him. I just throw it from anywhere. That was my favorite punch, left hook. Double hook? Yeah, he was just, he was just a left hook itself. I throw a left hook like a jab. 